Before carrying out a reflux with addition, we need to place our reagent solution into a round bottom flask with two necks. An alternative would be to use a one neck flask with a Kleisen adapter. As always, anti-bumping granules must be added for safety reasons. And now we can fully assemble our apparatus. Here we have a heating mantle at the bottom. Alternatives include heating with a Bunsen burner, a steam bath, or either an oil bath or a heating block on a hot plate. Above our reaction flask we have a condenser in an upright position, and in the other neck of the flask we have a dropping funnel which contains a solution of the other reagent we need to add to the reaction mixture. Remember that water always goes into condensers at the bottom and comes out at the top. Here you can see the reaction mixture in a state of reflux. As the solvent boils, its vapour condenses in the condenser before dripping back into the round bottom flask. This allows us to keep the temperature of the reaction high without losing solvent vapour. With the reaction refluxing at a steady rate, we're now ready to add some of the reagent solution from the dropping funnel. We do this simply by opening the tap on the dropping funnel very carefully to ensure that the reagent is added slowly. If we add the reagent too quickly, we may cause the reaction to become out of control, so it's very important to make sure that you follow the instructions in your script. You may be told how long you need to run the reflux for, or you may be expected to follow the reaction's progress, perhaps by TLC.